Satari. Since she was my youngest baby girl, I would always want her to call me every single day. And when I didn't hear from her in two or three days, I would call her phone and leave a message on it. Satari, this is your mom. I haven't heard from you in a while. If you don't call me back, I'm going to put out a missing persons report. And she would call me right away then, you know, like, Mom, you're crazy. She loved to take pictures. She was always in her, had her phone snapping herself. She loved to take pictures. Oh, wow. Every day that Satari would wake up, I would come home for lunch and she'd still be asleep. But I would wake her up and she would always tell me that she loved me every single day. I didn't, I don't think that there's anything odd about that, but, but then there was, you know, um, she ran to the door with her friend. Her friend had just turned 21, so they were going to go out and celebrate her birthday. And she said, okay. She came by, gave me a kiss and a hug, ran to the door and said, I love you guys. Bye. That was around 1230. And I went to bed. The police Knocked on my door at 7 o'clock in the morning. And um, they said, are you Lenita? I said, yeah. What's, what's, what's wrong with Satari? Is she okay? And the lady said, no. The officer said, no. And just as I was getting ready to open my mouth, I said, well, she said, Satari died this morning in a car accident. And it was just so unbelievable. You know, it was... That keeps running through my mind every single day, you know, because you only see that on TV. At least I have. And I just ask God to forgive me for thinking that I was untouchable or my family was untouchable. But she told me that my baby died and I just, 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 I just immediately started screaming and crying and just jumping up and down and just wanting to believe that it's not true. And despite what they said, I still tried to go to the wreck site and they wouldn't let me in. I seen it was blocked off, so I tried to walk into it. And a police officer stopped me and told me that Satari was at the medical examiner's office. I, I just hurt and it's a pain that you just couldn't imagine I, I mean for other parents that have lost their children I know I know now and I don't think that I'll ever get over it I don't think I ever will nothing prepares you for this nothing does and the hurt is never going to go away I was so angry. I'm not gonna lie. I was angry at God because I feel like he he has the power and he could have stopped this. You know. When he came into the courtroom, I could see in his face that he was hurt. I don't know if it was sorry for what he'd done, sorry that he got in his car and drunk and drank and then got in his car. I don't know if he's sorry for killing someone, but I could see the hurt and the remorse. And I really honestly do forgive him. I really do. I believe that he should still be held accountable for his actions, but I forgive him. I have no, no hatred for him at all. I, I just, I pray for him. With the proceeds from the car wash, we were able to get her a really nice headstone with her picture on it is what I wanted. So, wow, I'm just, that totally amazed me. The car wash, the candlelight vigil that we had after that evening of the funeral. Everybody was there and it was just beautiful. And the service was absolutely beautiful. It just, once again, just let, reiterated. I knew that I had a beautiful daughter with a beautiful heart, but I didn't know that she touched that many people's lives.